What up, though, GT? What it do? All right, man. I know you've been working a lot. Can you tell us if you got anything new as far as projects or singles on the way? Hell yeah, man. I've been working every day for real. I got a lot of shit coming out. Real, some solo shit, and I got a lot of shit with the fam. A lot of shit with the family, so be on the lookout for that. Okay, I, I just uh checked out that last mixtape that you and Lonnie had dropped together. That was nice. Can we be expecting to see a video from it? For every song on there. Every song on there, we about to get that going. There been a delay on it, niggas trying to get some personal shit together. But everybody going out, you know, going to take care of what they got to take care of. So it's on. Okay. Um, how does it feel to to be GT basically? How I feel to be GT and have a following that you have? Man, it's still growing every day. I feel like things got to keep putting in work though. For real, ain't nobody made it nowhere or nothing. I don't look like we made it nowhere. I don't feel like we made it nowhere. So we still got to put in that work every day and do it. The people who are already where we want to be. Okay, so how long have you been rapping now? It's going on, taking it serious, it's going on like the fifth year straight, for real. Fifth year. the year though, this, this, this the year everything gonna pop off. Okay. Right here, we got we got a couple more months left, but about the beginning of the next year, it's all the way on for the, for the whole team. So that's your goal for for next year, basically, to have it, your everything together? Everything, yeah. Okay. So who who will be on your next project if you don't mind me asking? Like any any artists from in the city or out the yeah. city that's special like guests? Yeah, I got um well out the city I don't even really know. I got so many niggas I fuck with that's really doing that shit on a real another level, like all black. I got Drago, Bino, Rose, Lonnie, Miles, shit. I got you know, I got uh, I got who you need to have on your shit. Okay. Shit. Can't get, you don't get no better than that, bro. What about as far as producers? You still working with the John same? John Boy, me, Jump, same shit. Dang, John Boy, Drago on the list. He going crazy. Um, shit, and Beats. Same niggas. I'm about to get back on my uh, The Maze and shit, though. For real. Oh. I started that shit for real. Yeah, he be having that heat. What? So what would you say was a turning point in your career? Like you just in that whole ass accident, man. That shit was like shit. That's some shit nigga don't want to be out here doing. Getting high as hell, driving. Just don't operate no vehicle while you that while you high, man. You know your limit, man. If you know your limit, stop at your limit. Keep it moving. Don't be trying to do no extra shit, man. That's one, honey. So, what would be the best decision you made as far as rapping so far? Um, not signing no deal. It's like the best shit I ever could have did, man. Because I done heard every story you can hear about that shit. Like from people holding their music to shit to people not even be able to make no music because it ain't gonna be able to get nothing gonna be able to get done with it. You can't post a shit, do nothing. So yeah, not sad. So to any artist that's like looking up to you and and you, what you doing, what what advice would you give them as far as dealing with the industry? Don't try to compare yourself to the industry, bro. That's not the thing to do, bro. Do you, because nine times out of ten, they already watching you and they trying to steal as much sauce as possible. So keep doing you and step your foot on your gas, man, and keep your lane, your lane. Don't be trying to worry about, don't try to cripple yourself worrying about what nobody in the industry doing. Don't compare your success to theirs because you don't know what they done did to get where they at. So... Just the best advice I can say is keep putting your work in. Okay. Now, I know we talked a little bit about your, your upcoming projects, but uh, could you give us a name maybe for it? Or it's not... I don't know it's, shit. Or it's, I don't know. I be thinking of that shit, Eric. I don't know. Or I maybe like... Might just say, one of my niggas might just say something slick as hell or something. That's the name of the shit. And that's what I'm going with. What about when you start seeing it on t shirts and shit? That's the name of that shit. What about like a release date though? Do you think you know what this, a... this month coming up right here? Oh, okay, so that's pretty soon then. Yeah, yeah, this month for sure. Okay. And and um that song what it what it looked like off of that mixtape with y'all? 
how was the response that you got from that one? Because I know that was that's a crazy. Everybody's favorite one, for sure. That, they love that shit. I ain't gonna lie when the video drops it in. I know it's all on. That's the one. That's the one for sure. We did that shit in one day, the whole CD. We was on that tip. Hey! What's up, Jose? I'm doing this interview with my baby, Jose. That's one of the producers on my shit, too. Yeah. I already know. Real Lisa shit. What's up, boys? I'm big. Alright. So, <laughs> that yeah, was great. Get our interviews, nigga, volume one, nigga, the first one, nigga, this the new shit, nigga, don't got interviews like this, nigga, with, with niggas laughing <laughs> and thugging it. It's real nigga, shit. Taking pictures. Niggas always interrogating a nigga. See, your interviews gotta be different from these niggas. You can't interrogate niggas, you gotta make a nigga feel at home. Right. So don't be cutting it when a nigga come through, slap. Keep it real. Keep it real, nigga, be on that real shit. Okay. Why I was go I wanted to ask, since you've been an artist and you've been out, it seemed like you and, and Band Gang got real good chemistry. Yeah, I was man, nigga, I was the first nigga fucking with Band Gang, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I already knew what Band Gang was gonna do before Band Gang knew what they was gonna do. I ain't gonna lie. When they was just getting that when they ain't even really know how to put the song all the way together. A lot of them did, but them niggas were they niggas was just knew what they wanted to be, bro. You get what I'm saying? Wasn't nothing even yeah. established all the way yet, bro. Niggas was working hard. Okay. That's the grind nigga. we all need to have back that old school grind nigga. For real, I'm telling you. That grind niggas need to have. So if it was anything that you could tell to any of your fans or anybody out there that support you, what would you say to them? Man, stay solid like I'm going to stay solid for y'all. Don't fold on me. I ain't going to fold on y'all. To tell that to my fans, man. Don't fold on me. Keep having the faith you all got in me, and I'm, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna deliver, man. All right. Well, thank you for coming out and doing this interview with Great Lakes, man. We wish you all the success. Good.